Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the first part, fasten up your chin straps. We go straight in with an absolute banger in the men's middleweight division. And the names I'm about to announce are truly incredible. Firstly, welcome this man. He hails from and is representing Ukraine and is a multiple Ukrainian national champion EAF, European champion and the multiple WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Rustam Bobay. Making his return to East versus West stage. Last time we saw him was versus Paul Lin where he won the first two rounds, then got injured on the third and got to conceal the match. This time he's taking Rakli Zirakashvili to get back on a winning streak, to get back in contendership for the world title that everyone is gunning for in this weight class. Rustam Babayo, an absolute legend in arm wrestling. He's been pulling for 20 plus years, multiple time world, European, all the titles you can name. This man has done it, has one of the most insane hook pulling abilities you will ever see on our missing table and it's good to see him back on East versus West. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent hails from and he's representing the great arm wrestling nation of Georgia and needs no introduction here at East versus West. This man is a multiple and reigning Georgian national champion, many times EAF, European champion and is also a multiple WAF champion of the world. Please welcome me, Rekla Zirakashvili. Irakli Zirakashvili. No one needs to be introduced to this rising star in armor sling. 26 years old, 190 centimeters tall, 95 kilos. All the stats on a paper. Irakli is winning them. Biceps 47 centimeters compared to Rustam 46. Forearm 44 compared to Rustam's 40 centimeters. Rustam 14 years older. Right now hitting his 40s. But let's see how much fight does he has left. At one point Rustam was so dominant that he got bored in 90-95 kilo class and went to gun the big boys. Was not too successful there but always was giving a big match. Right now, he's back to his weight class, pulling young rising stars like Irakli Zirakashvili. We have a coin toss. And this will be a definite classic top roll versus hook. Rustam's ability to get inside is second to none. He's just so good at getting where he wants to. Last time I see him lose in a tournament setting versus a top roller, versus very known Hermes Gasparini. Again, very clean setups from both athletes. We're ready to take round number one. It will definitely go to a strap. Rustam is going outside to get the strap. He knows it's definitely better in a strap versus Irakli than without it. Can Irakli take his hand? Can Irakli take the center? Or he'll be sucked in a hook match. What do you think, Neil Pickup? Super interesting first start, mate. This is going to tell us so many stories. No surprise there about the strap. We see Levan, we see Snezhana Babayeva. Babayev, Rustam, of course, is from dynasty of arm wrestling. Snezhana, Rustam, Ruslan, all great arm wrestlers. And we've seen two of those three here at East versus West. We may have seen all three. We certainly saw in the last outing. Ruslan trying to avenge his brother against Paul Lin. And Paul Lin, remember, was the man who put the damage into the chest of Rustam Babayev. And the big question. Very low grip for Rustam. That's what he wants. He wants a wrist to wrist. Uh, not really pistol grip for Irakli. Going more on back pressure than hand control. Let's see. Is that Don't chest go. Go. revealed? Go. Big drive, Zirakas Billy! Wow. wow! And I'll tell you what, the Kinda question the remains open, Ray, because that was a really concerned look on the face of Rustam there. Even if the chest is fine, there's a little bit of a haunting feeling going there. He did not look comfortable, and he did not look Woo. confident to throw his frame into that match. Definitely. Uh, we saw a little stop on Rustam, but then he kind of stopped himself and he couldn't go deeper and we see him hitting his chest yeah. definitely when someone as powerful as Irakli Zirakashvili we have seen those crazy bicep lifts and in his interview he told me he was ready to pull in a hook listen there's some 
mental scarring that goes on when you have a serious bit of damage, yeah. being there and worn the t-shirt yeah. and you go from a situation where you're supremely confident to hit hard into a match and really launch your frame in there with abandon to some unknown force sitting on your shoulder and tying you back a little bit. Your confidence has gone. And it might take a couple of outings for Rustam to feel like he can do that again. He certainly didn't there. For him, I think it's very hard to get back in the game because everyone, everyone remembers you as a great champ, as the guy at the top. And now you are thrown into a match. Maybe you are you're just outgunned everywhere. Maybe you're just not yet the guy you used to be. Maybe you needed a you know a little easier match to start it going. You know, but uh, let's see what Rustam is made of. Nominated strap Ray, both men looking for that, and a uh, little bit of concern on on Team Babayev's face there. And and you don't know what was said in the corner, but he certainly was concerned about that peck. We saw him rubbing it furiously, bumping it in the corner, just trying to get some blood in there. It'd be nice if there was a settling point here and we could see him get some confidence back, if nothing else. So Zirakashvili, it's all about him at the moment. He was the guy that made the running. He kept that wrist flat. He took control and moved hard to the side ring. Looks very, very confident, Irakli. Don't move. Go! Wow! wow. Much wow. more aggressive. Drive. Elbow foul for Rusev. Uh, much better, much better. better. I think better. Rackley <laughs> underestimated. He thought, okay, I got the first one easy. May I'll just, you know, play around. You don't play around with likes of Rustam Babayev. Now, turning point. Did Rustam feel comfortable, confident there? Look at him coil up. This is the man we've seen in the past. Here comes that big, aggressive, booming hit. Go! Yeah, Cash really going to need to react, but his turn, his palm is to the ceiling, and uh, Rustam Bobayev is back in the match. 1-1, one, one, Ray. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's what we wanted. He, he kind of tested it, and I think he knows. He's like, oh, good. It's good. It's good. And he knows he has to fight. You can't wait on, on, on Irakli. And with Irakli, it's a big problem. He... He has lost these kind of matches versus strong side pressure pullers, inside pullers. And look right here. Rustam just sucks him in a hook, takes his pronator, turns his palm up, up and just drives him to the side. And look at the smile on the face of Rustam Bobayev as he goes back to his corner there. It's almost like an awakening. He was suddenly thinking, you know what? Maybe I can do this. And that confidence starts to drip back into his system. And this is getting more interesting. Now, importantly, it was the second start and nothing could be done about it. And you do think, if you're in Zidakashvili's corner now, he got a first hit, he knew exactly what was coming. You could say, okay, he underestimated it, but not the second time. I look at Irakli and a lot of times we'll see he's just so strong that he doesn't use a lot of hand control. What he's very used to doing, back pressure. That's, and he wins matches just by that. He doesn't need a hand control. He, right here, he needs a low hand grip. He needs to engage his small finger. He needs to engage his pronator to block rotational force, supination force, or cupping force, whatever you call it, of Rustam Babayev. Again, nominated strap, goes right in. Buckle on Rustam, which makes no difference because Rustam is not fighting for the height. That looks very low. Unbelievably low. Unbelievably. But if it's low for both guys, right? It's, uh, yeah. It is. It is. Uh, it is. And I feel Rustam, it's... If you're, if you're Rustam there, you're You need happy. it higher. Yeah, but I think, like, as soon as they're going to buckle up, this will slide up and it's will going to create will, a slide. It will, but slack. I think he wants that low anchor point, yeah. mate. He's looking to... Because yeah. there's a degree of back pressure much going in there as he kicks that supinator. Much better grip, I feel, from Irakli. He's very, very low. Like, nice pistol grip. But he needs that knuckle down. Much better, much better. Rustam holds on, flat wrist, drives to the side. 2-1. And one thing we saw again there... This match really taking shape now. And when the hand and wrist is exposed, in the days of old, we'd see Rustam Babayev bite down on the mouthpiece and go hard to the side. And he's not confident to do that now, Ray. There's, not a, yet. there's an element gone. It's not, not yet there Neil. yet. Not yet. Neil. He needs to be turned in. He needs to have... Look, look at the fingers there also bunched yeah. up. Didn't yeah. get what he needed. Credit to Zirakashvili there. Irakli took Perfect. control. Yeah. Really good use of the pronator. Adjusted well. That's a solid low hand and really good aggression to the side.
good adjustments made by both of these athletes. Let's see what round number four will bring us. Uh, right now, both of them have exchanged wins and losses. And right now, we're going into round number four, maybe even round number five. We'll see. Rustam has to win this one. He has to turn Irakli inside. Uh, buckle will be on Irakli's hand. That's a favor to Rustam. Maybe Buckle is playing a big role in this one. I think one. so. So Zaya Very there working in the corner. Rustam trying to get that lactic acid out of there. It doesn't look like there's much exertion, but these guys are at the absolute red line, and you can see how inflated the forearm gets there. Both men will be feeling it at this stage, but you do feel like the youth is on the side of Irakli Zirakashvili, and he looks the fresher athlete, and he looks the more confident athlete also at this stage. Definitely. Rustam has to take control. He has to get inside. He has to maybe a little bit drain Irakli's back pressure. Because if you leave it fresh, he still has something to work on. Uh, Super shallow grip yeah. as well there from Rustam on that last start. And, the, and a big difference maker was the position of the elbow for Irakli Zirakashvili. And it's like you said in that second round, was there a little bit there of shell shock from Zirakashvili? Because he got the first one so easy. It's quite possible that he thought, oh, job done. And you, you just back off that a little bit. And at this level, you're punished for it. And he was. Uh, Nominated strap. Levan Siganishvili said this match is 50-50. And it's kind of looking like it is 50-50. He knows the threat that Rustam Babayev is. And he knows how good his training partner and friend Irakli Zirakashvili is. And he picked 50-50, which says a lot. Rustam breathing a little heavier there. And I feel like... Uh, Zirakashvili's got a really good position on that strap there, right? He's engaged the low hand again. Yes. Pronation's okay. locked in let's, solid. Let's see how deep Rustam can get in. Still quite shallow Ooh. for me. Yes. He's too shallow. The, you, the, 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 yeah, There's nothing to him. No, he, he really doesn't have anything. Yeah. Because he's giving away height also. Yeah. Zirakashvili, the longer lever. You know, he's trying to adjust. Yeah, he's trying to get that position. palm forward, but not possible okay. at this okay. stage. Now, okay. Rotate. I'm driving those oh, knuckles up, but Krista all over it. And he's going to need to get a really good start here. And he's right on the edge of that elbow pad and gets worn for it there. Don't move. Oh, start here. Better from Rustam. Pressure applied and he drives to the pad. Wow. 50-50 was the call. What do you think? Wow. Insane match. I believe that the buckle is playing big side. Yeah. Big, big role in this match. So Rustam, maybe because of his injury, he couldn't apply as much rotational force as he could before, but he's using a lot of back pressure. Massive that, amount. Top that roll. ended with a top roll. Rustam Babayo just top rolled Irakli Zirakashvili. He engaged with a lot of side pressure where he stopped his opponent, but then he rolled out. It was the drive to the side and then into that reversing top roll, straight wrist, flat wrist, really good arm wrestling. And 2-2 two, two the score, wow. and you look at the disappointment on the face of Zirakashvili. Never underestimate the element of surprise. We're going in the round number five. <laughs> the result is 2-2. I think there's another coin toss coming in, right? I, I really think so. And Zaya beating the living daylight out of her brother there in the corner, trying to keep the blood in that chest. Don't want any more injuries. Let's see this thing finish. Rustam, good to see him back in this kind of form and good to see him building in confidence. It would really do his confidence a world of good if he could get this win raise. One pin away, and Zirakashvili, you feel like there's frustration in the Georgian camp. Both guys are very, very evenly matched. That has to be said. Uh, so we know how stacked this 95 kilo class is. Uh, and whoever wins it, maybe we'll have a title shot against one of the guys that will have the match later, John Brzenk and Sasha Andreev. But right now, we're heading into round number five. Will it be hook, or will it be top roll? Oh, well, it might be top roll. Also for I Rustam. love the fact that in Rustam's corner there, since I am not really giving any advice and just, none of the just guys are just, yeah, kidding. you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. happy with that he knows what yeah. he's doing. Sergei and Sazaya not giving any advice at all there and just allowing Rustam to get a breather, try and work some lactic acid out of that forearm and let the man go to work. In the corner of uh, Zirakashvili, absolute polar opposite approach. The Georgian coach and Levan. A little bit of uh, harsh words for Irakli. Feel he can do better, needs to do better. This is it, the money round rate. 
This is it. This is the moment. Whoever wins this takes this one. We are ready for the start again. Low handing for Irakli, which is great. He needs to stop the rotational force of Rustam. We see the pressure on Rustam. Getting ready. And elbow jump for Rustam. Get out of jail free card. Yeah, yeah. He got torn palm up. The, so one foul, one foul for Rustam Babaya. Irakli felt very confident. Again, I feel like the buckle is playing big role in this yeah, re really. one. Yeah, really. And uh, as I say, complete get out of jail free card there for Rustam Babayev. And you know what, Ray? I think he feels the buckle's playing a big part and you can see it written all over his face. Yeah. But interestingly, he had great success in the earlier round from this position in the first start and then lost it in the second that he needs to try and put those demons out of his head and maybe look for that back pressure again. He, he reverted back to coming forward there and he was immediately turned palm up. I think Rustam's top roll is still engaged with the side pressure, but while his side, like, yeah, he's he going to lower so the arc. low, yeah, yeah, he's going so low that he's just allowing Irakli to take his wrist. He needs to lower the arm. Obviously, Irakli, the taller guy, he's got the better leverage here. He's the, he's the classic top roller. It's not been the A game of Rustam Babayev. Waiting for a restart, round number five. Rustam versus Irakli, 2-2. Don't move. Go! Position for and Rustam versus Irakli. Rustam is holding on, but no, Irakli Zirakashvili drives to the side and pins Rustam Babayo. 3-2, great victory for Irakli. It really is, and uh, Rustam Babayev there exposed early. Palm was turned to the ceiling, completely exposed his bicep there, and Zirakashvili breathes a sigh of relief. He was run close there. Team Georgia. We're just having some harsh words in the corner with him. Look at that on the replay. I think we're going to see all the rounds here. And it was a great start from Zirakash Billy. He was his usual explosive, aggressive self in round one and managed to expose the arm, the bicep. But it was a great response from the legendary Rustam Babayev. And you can see the VIP guests react to that as Babayev delivered a little glimpse of the legend that he has been in this sport. But from there, Zirakashvili of Georgia started to go through the gears. Some excellent adjustments from both men in that round, but Zirakashvili with a low hand, pistol grip, exposed the hand and wrist and forced Rustam Babayev into the top row. We got to see a chess match between two master arm wrestlers here. But in the last round, it was the A game of Irakli, Zirakashvili of Georgia that delivered the goods. He gets the victory and he's with Ray Leipinge. What a match. 3-2 your winner, Irakli Zirakashvili. It was big back and forth, exchanging wins. I feel like the buckle played a part, was it? Did, did he feel like whoever had the buckle had a worse setup? Anu Zali and Dazabu Machiko, Belam Vihileto, they said Sabatli Badam Chatitkoso, Ronis Haresatsiko is Dabis Bakl Nazilio, Iman Itamasha di Dirolio, the Shera speaker. No Rathmonda, Zogat Topros, Taras was last match to Haras Dabuli, the no Ertiga that's what Zali has gone to Armo Velo, the Anu Zali and Squania, a legend on Majo Bachuita. Yes, in short, the answer is yes to your question. Uh, Buckle did play a huge role in this match. He said that uh, there was a round when uh, Rustam outsmarted him. He said that Rustam is really, really experienced and smart uh, arm wrestler. And uh, Irakli was not expecting uh, in a, uh, one round uh, what uh, Babaev did and uh, gained the uh, score. So, mad respect to Babaev. But like he said, uh, Bakal played huge role because as a top roller, nobody likes Bakal on his side. So, for quite some time you were chasing the big boys. 
is 95 kilo class is where you want to stay for quite some time until you get the shot at the title. Yeah, basically until I reached the um, title de destination of uh, 95 kg category, I'm not living anywhere. So once he gains the title of this category, then may he think about moving up again. Great pulling from both athletes. Congratulations, Irakli. One more time. Zalian, Didi Madlo Bayengi. Zalian Petniari, Varam Gamar Jobit. Rustami, Mero Arjitavits, Verterti, Zalian Didi Sportsman, Nikola, Dres Zalian Petniari, or Zalian Moharu Livaro. Asset Legend of Tan, Hadi Var Potoseda, Asset Legend of Tan Mokshakadra. Zalian Didi Madlova, I'm still Shane Ginda. Immedia Gao Martle, Quella, Chinese New March. Engin, this is directly to you, the message from Miracle. He's uh, showing huge gratitude and he's very thankful for you for giving the opportunity. He's really um, happy that he sees himself painted over there in the huge monitor alongside these legendary arm wrestlers. And he once more wanted to thank you for that, letting him the opportunity to be here. He 100% deserves to be here. and. Let him be ready for Pauline in January. And the winner of this match is going to go for a title match for the 95 kilo. Kartule Bistwisat Gadao Tarkmi Utsep. Anu, Iraklis Shemdegi Machiaris Yanwar Shee Engin Ma Utkarom Zadi. Gos Pauline is Twis, Holo Gamar Jebuli, Iraklis Sada Pauline Shoris, Shekhdeba Ukwe Tassism Lopez. Aratma Unda Moim Zadebi Zalian Magrad. Da Paul, Majebi Awar Jishe Beori. Obviously, I'm going to do my best uh, uh, during preparation. And Paul, this is a message for you. Prepare your wrist. Irakli Zirakashvili. 